exclusions. Okay, there are lots of them. Let's start with, we started out with today. I said, all right, I want to get us all singing from the same sheet of music. Non-consumer credit, that's the first criteria. If it's consumer credit, meaning personal, family, or household purposes, that's what the credit's being used for, then it's not subject to 1071. And I'll go back and reiterate, the paper it's done on doesn't matter. I see all the time where people do consumer loan disclosures for borrowers to buy rental homes so that they can sell the loan on the secondary market and they can, they can take advantage of secondary market financing terms and rates. I've, I've seen that over and over again over the years. You can provide consumer disclosures in situations where they're not required. That doesn't make it consumer credit, though. 1071 says if it's non-consumer credit, you need to report it. Okay. There's even a Q&A that they came out with in the, the, the Q&A documents that, that further illustrates this, that it's got to be for consumer credit. And I think, I don't have a, I don't have the exact Q&A that I can give you off the top of my head, but there's only like 20 some Q&As. It's very easy to go find it. So again, paper doesn't matter. What matters is the purpose, consumer versus commercial. Consumer credit, out. But it's got to be for personal, family, or household purposes.